All right, this is a quick video on recovering a system image. And I'm really just doing this just uh, for practice on my test PC. So when you run it, this is in Windows 7, by the way. So when you run a system image and create one, it will ask you, do you want to um, create a system repair disk? Um, the first time you do it, you'll want to push yes. Make sure you get the 32 or 64 bit. Or it'll automatically do that for you. That's right. So, what I've done is take that disk, booted to it, and what you end up with is something like this. Select keyboard input method. And what you'll want to have the disk that you created this system image on plugged in or on a network or whatever. So, I've done that. I have my little USB drive plugged in. So, you'll come to this part. There's two checkboxes here. You have to be real careful. This is this top part is to system recovery or uh, takes it back in time. Um, the the next checkbox is restore your computer using a system image image you created earlier. So I'll choose that one. So now it's searching my all my computer hooked up to my motherboard or. Uh, for the latest uh, backup. And it's found one. And it just happens to be that this is the one it found is the right one. On a lot of occasions, it, it won't be. I've got four different ones on this, uh, four different images. But this happens to be the one that I want to use. If, if it wasn't, you would. Uh, check the other box and find the one. So since this is the one I want to use, I'll just go ahead and leave it checked, push next. And on this, normally if, if you need to use this, um, you're going to want to check this box to format and repartition. To be honest, I've never recovered an image when it wasn't, when I didn't check it. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, why they give you, why they even give you the the option. But right here, you can, if you have three or four discs and you want to leave some of them alone because you know they're fine, you can push here and exclude exclude certain discs if just you've lost one disc or whatever. So I'll try this to format and repartition because this is just a test PC anyway but you'd probably want to do this um, if you've lost a drive or whatever because it will format a new drive for you and repartition it. So after you've done that you just verify that, that it's the right one, the computer name's right and the drives to restore is right and just push finish and it will uh, go on for a few minutes and uh, I'll just come right back to it here in a bit. Alright, I caught it just in time. It just finished. Um, this was a basic installation but it only took about oh, between 5 and 10 minutes. And then it went ahead and it's restarting automatically. So I caught it just in time. Just let it let you see exactly what it's going to do. Now the system repair disk is still in, and uh, I don't need it this time. So I'm, I'm going to I'm not going to press any key to boot from CD. I'm just going to let it go ahead and start. So this is pretty much taken the image and reformatted, repartitioned uh, the drive and the drive was fine, I'm just doing this as a test but uh, just kind of wanted to let everybody see what was involved in it and that's exactly it and I'm just going to make sure because I just reactivated or rearmed Windows, so I should have 30 days left to activate, and sure enough, the image, the image is 30 days. 
Now just for everybody's information, I tried this with an older image um, that I installed about 40 days ago and it gave me an error. It would not uh, it, it would not recover the image and the reason why was because it it had expired the 30 days that you have to activate Windows had expired and that that Windows image was over 30 days old and it, Windows hadn't been activated so it, it gave me an error it wouldn't go out it wouldn't go through so I wasn't aware of that I thought it might bring you back to the time the exact time when you ran the image say you had you had 20 days left I thought it would bring you back to that time but it doesn't it, it, it'll just give you an error and won't uh, won't do it so uh, anyway that is how you restore an image it's not too tough everybody with Windows 7 or even Windows Vista Ultimate I believe has it has the function but golly it couldn't be easier just to run an image every week or two weeks or once a month or something in case something terrible happens uh, boy this is a small that's a small price to pay to have this kind of peace of mind I run one every week on my main system so anyway I hope and maybe this helps somebody sometime you guys have a great day